I want to grow and strive for success. We should all grow or else you get left. We so we work with young people that are care experienced from across Scotland, anybody between the ages of 14 and 26. We are in the third year of the project. We've had all sorts of amazing opportunities. We've had um, filmmaking, drama, role play. And at the moment, we are doing a street art project where we're painting a 10 meter wall. They're going to be doing a mural with spray paint. And that mural is going to be an expression of who they are and what they think and how they feel. So I'm here today to try and tease some of that out of them, get them thinking about their identity get them thinking about what makes them unique and individual. So we started off talking about place, where they're from, how they feel about where they're from, the language that they use, what it means to be young in the modern era, especially the pandemic era, how that's affected them, what are the issues that are on their mind, what do they worry about for the future. And hopefully by the end of this, we will have so many ideas that they can translate into visual terms. So images that they can pick out, that they feel represents them. Or else you get left Making myself known Get ready for me Believe in prophecy uh, Alan um, has, uh, has been very good with the young people And uh, he, has, um, he has set up a, a very good level of confidence And where they felt uh, totally um, free to express themselves how, how they felt during the lockdown Which uh, was the, the main... Um, subject for our mural. The project, I think, is different things for different people. Some of the young people that come, maybe come to a poetry uh, workshop because they have a particular interest in poetry. Um, others, because they've never tried something and just want to give it a shot. You caused flames tonight ignite and this rarely used pen to write. You think you're broken, but don't you see there's beauty in that? I think you're the perfect mix of chaos and art. Yeah, I think what's really important about the project is it's working with care experienced young people. And obviously, I mean, lockdown and COVID has been hard for absolutely everybody, but um, being able to get a group of young folks here and being able to explore their experiences of lockdown as well has been really important. Alongside the individual pieces that people have come up with, we've also created a group written um, performance poem about our experiences of lockdown and that's been put to music. I said certified free, 100 nuggets a week, yummy ass nugget, back for part two, woo. We've been recording their material for the last little while. Uh, there's been quite a broad range of stuff. There's some MCs who've just gone for full hip hop tracks. There's been some quite introspective spoken word poetry that Steve has uh, fit some music to. It's been brilliant working with um, the guys that I've worked with before. Some of them, some of them are new as well. Um, lots of people who have lots of different sort of understandings of the process already. Some of them come in to work with me already knowing what they want to do musically. Just one of those places. Why do I feel so sorry I've done nothing wrong? Some of them are much um, more open. So it's been quite a good collaborative process with them. 2020 has been a very strange year. Um, and this street art project was originally uh, intended to happen in August. We couldn't do it because of lockdown, but we managed to get everybody to come back together now in October. We've battled the rain, we've battled the wind, we've got tarpaulins hanging from the side of the building to try and keep people dry, and the young people haven't been phased by it at all. They've just got stuck in. Seeking adventure, trying to fall going anywhere without income and pressure. I think one of the big problems that we had uh, was confidence and they were so scared to make mistakes that uh, so very often what I what I would do is is show them how you make a mistake you know so that, that put them in into a situation that oh, it's okay to make mistakes 
Because if they don't make mistakes, they can't progress and, and improve. Living in a tiny box with multiple different sections, sick of seeing bloody walls in need of some attention. Uh, Moniac Moor is an incredible place that's just really relaxing to be here. And if young people want to come and just hang out in a safe environment, that's fine. That's great. It's a completely different world from what I'm used to back at home and it's where I guess I feel the most happy and inspired.